News for Jax continues its coverage of the protests happening as well as coronavirus tonight. We're going to get straight to Eric Avigny. Eric, explain the concerns surrounding COVID-19 and these protests. What are people being asked to do because of that? Well, they're being asked to get tested. You've got folks like these uh, people here. Uh, they've been out here. They've been protesting yesterday and, of course, today. As you can see, some of them have on masks. Some of them don't. Uh, they're closely together. It may take up to the next two weeks before we know if those protests uh, led to further uh, spread of COVID-19 because it takes that long for some people to start exhibiting symptoms. Therefore, like we said earlier on, people who took part in those protests, including the folks you see across the street, are being strongly urged to immediately get tested even if they wore a mask. No justice! No peace! No justice! While hundreds, and in some cases thousands of people gathered and marched closely to each other in Northeast Florida to protest the Minneapolis police killing of George Floyd, the threat of new coronavirus cases popping up as a result of these mass gatherings has become a concern for local health department doctors. Everyone's expecting there may be slight increases as a result of this. That's because COVID-19 spreads faster when infected people open their mouth. Uh, you have people walking closely together, yelling, talking, which is way of spreading the disease. And so certainly there is concern about folks being in mass gatherings and this disease being transmitted from person to person. And although many protesters wore a mask, Dr. Pauline Roll says they still may have put themselves in danger of being infected or possibly infecting others. If folks are wearing it below their nose, they're taking it off to talk. Um, they're, they're not changing it regularly, particularly if it's soaked from all the screaming and the talking. Um, they may be putting themselves at risk and others at risk. That's because once the mask is soaked from the combination of sweat and saliva, its ability to prevent the spread of COVID-19 decreases. Therefore, the health department urges people who continue to protest in mass gatherings to carry more than one mask. They are also asking those folks to get tested for the virus. We're encouraging everyone to be tested. Um, it's not mandatory. It is your choice. However, we do believe that it is better for people to be tested and to know their status. Now, the health department also says if you have been in contact with people who have been demonstrating and protesting, you are also strongly urged uh, to get tested, at least for your own peace of mind, to note your COVID-19 status. Now, it's also worth mentioning that uh, during today's uh, march that we saw where thousands of people walked this way through uh, San Marco, we saw a lot of people wearing masks, but we also saw quite a few people that were not wearing masks, including small children who were here with their parents. Reporting live in San Marco, Eric Avenier, Channel 4, the local station.